Danny, you've had a number of news releases here over the last month, with the most recent one being you've achieved significant technology milestones and enhanced uniform nanocoding capability. How about we start there? Yes. So last month, we've achieved uh, uniform nanocoding capability of our silicon anodes. Now, what this means is that our silicon anode technology, in terms of performance, is highly dependent on the nanocoding capabilities and how uniformly coated uh, the strong polymers are on the silicon itself. But what we have achieved is great performance and that uniform coating capability on very rigid and silicon shapes and structures. Now, competitors use very uh, spherical silicon, which is uh, easier to coat than the silicon that we use. And the silicon that we use is called metallurgical grade silicon. And this silicon is rectangularly shaped, plate shaped, and very hard to coat. But what we have done is that we have been able to uniformly coat the silicon and we have realized a great performance in terms of increasing the EV range as well as ultra fast charging capability. And from this news release, we have attracted actually about 10 uh, companies, which includes global battery manufacturers and EV automakers, as well as electronic manufacturers, as they currently are interested in using neo battery material silicon anodes for their lithium ion batteries. So in addition to that news, you announced the completion of RFQ process for commercial plant construction. Can you give us a little bit more about that update and also about filing a patent to a company, uh, that news release that you just announced, what, less than a month ago? Thank you. So currently in South Korea, we have received the construction permit approval in January, and we are in the process to initiate the initial phases of the construction of the South Korean commercial plant. And the RFQ process stands for a request for quote process in which we are quoting uh, candidate contractors for the commercial plant itself. So we have completed that process and we are currently in the negotiation phases with various contractors in South Korea. And once that negotiation phase is completed, we will start out with the site clearance because the South Korean commercial plant is located in a green field uh, land or facility. And we will also initiate the basic civil engineering. And that is for the RFQ process. And in terms of the patent, uh, that is the patent we filed, which is the sixth patent, with the, which is uh, in regards to the silicon anode uh, manufacturing process. And we will be applying this patent uh, not only to the Korean Intellectual Property Office, but also to the U.S. as well as the international PCT as well. And we're looking to increase our patent portfolio to a total of 15 issued and pending by the end of this year. Okay, well, that's very exciting. In addition to that process, the Uh, you managed to get Dr. S.G. Kim to join your team. Can you tell us how you attracted such a sensational mind in the industry to join Neo Battery Materials? Yes, to give you a background of uh, Dr. S.G. Kim, he was actually the former executive vice president as well as head of R&D of Hanwha Solutions, which is the uh, which is the chemical manufacturing company of the South Korean conglomerate Hanwha Group. And Dr. S.G. Kim saw the potential of NEO's silicon anodes in terms of the high performance characteristics as well as the low cost capabilities that we can supply to our downstream users. And he has commented the promise of if we are able to commercialize our silicon anodes, downstream users must and that's again a must, integrate our silicon anodes for electric vehicle batteries. But not only are we trying to research EV battery uh, uses, but we are also looking uh, with Dr. Kim to implement our battery technologies in electronics as well as aviation uses as well. So we're excited to have Dr. Kim in our team and we're uh, more than excited to uh, go in terms of our commercialization journey. 
Well, Danny, as always, what a pleasure. Thank you so much. And for everyone out there interested in finding out more about Neo Battery Materials, I urge you to go to their website and reach out to them. Thank you. Thank you.